Hi, this is Ann Gunn, and I'd like to personally welcome you to the spring 2022 semester at NWCCD. I'm really pleased um, to, to be here and to be your instructor this semester. Uh, a couple of my classes grew significantly between the end of December and, um, and the start of this semester, and that just pleases me enormously um, that, that whether you signed up late or you signed up very early um, in the fall, you are, um, you are committed to learning the material that I get a chance to teach to you. Larger classes are more work for me. Um, it means that my grading may be a little bit slower than when I have a very small class, but they also have more energy. Um, they have more opportunity for you to find people with whom you can collaborate. And they um, just have, have a, a better, you know, more energy and slack. And there's just more scope for creativity for all of us when there are more of you um, studying each of my topics. So welcome. Um, these are still slightly uncertain times. Um, and uh, the only thing I can contribute to that is that my classes um, being online classes provide a measure of consistency. Um, I try to have the same release dates, the same due dates, the same due times every week. Um, I try to provide a consistent level of work, although um, any one of you may find that any particular week is easy for you or hard for you because the material is very, very personal in terms of how you're going to be able to learn it. Um, but in terms of how the schedules work, and what, the, what your commitments are, I provide you as much consistency as I possibly can. And in return for that, I would like you to make a consistent commitment to having what in the education business is referred to as a growth mindset. Um, I used to find that term kind of strange. I mean, what are we here to, what are you here to do in a course, but to learn and to grow? Um, but I think that it is important to call attention to a couple of things about, um, about learning in general and about learning a skills class in particular. So this is a class that is more like probably learning a sport or learning music than it is about learning history um, or math is sort of in between. Um, and that requires um, some extra application um, practice. OK, so you're not just going to read something and know how to code or how to do a database query. You're going to have to practice. Um, and it also requires persistence and bravery in the face of fear. Um, that may sound strange to some of you, but um, I don't have a psychological term to apply to it. But in my personal experience, I find that it is scarier for all of us to not know how to do something than to simply not know a set of facts. So if you're presented with learning a set of history facts um, or, or you are learning anatomy and physiology, that can be extremely difficult, but, the, but you don't seem to take it personally in the sense of thinking that you're a failure if you don't already know how to do it. Whereas if you are learning to code or you're learning to um, work with a system in a new environment and I have a set of instructions for you and you can't find the button I'm talking about, it's as if, it, it's as if people tend to take that personally as if that's a failure on their part. Um, and whether the button is in the place that I describe it, okay, or the online system vendor that we're working with has moved that button and it's not where I tell you it is, which happens to my courses all of the time. In either of those cases, you're not a failure as a human being if you can't see it. Um, it's a question of learning to perceive, learning to look around um, and, and trying to relax enough, sometimes walking away, or you know this is a last resort. Well, actually reading documentation is often a last resort for most people, but in right in there is asking questions. So whether you ask questions on Slack or you send me an email or you come to one of my student hours, ask questions. Don't assume that you are that there's something wrong with you if you can't figure out how to do something. Um, my job is to help you learn. 
uh, in a skills class, I can't, I can't pour knowledge in. Um, I can only provide platforms for your learning. Um, and the other thing that is, um, is hard for my side is I can't tell what, what, what you are having trouble with unless you tell me. Um, I'm on this side of the glass and, and I, I can't see student experience the way I could if we were all in a classroom together. So you have to speak up, you have to let me know. Um, the other part of gross mindset that I'd, I'd like to um, just point out is that it's different depending on whether you think of yourself as a total modibus or you think of yourself as someone who is reviewing skills or taking a class where you know this stuff, but you're just trying to, you know, get a credit. Okay. Um, and I have, I have students across that range every semester and they, and they have different problems with the material. Okay. So if you're a novice, you need to apply that bravery and that persistence and understand that you just have to keep working and keep asking questions. It's different if you think you already know the material. So for example, if you're coming to a coding class and you have already programmed, um, or you are have been using a database query language on the job, and now you're just basically trying to fill in the gaps. Um, you may find the first exercises in my courses relatively easy. Please don't get complacent. Um, I see students sort of checking out and then not noticing when the bus leaves and suddenly there's new material that they really haven't seen before that they um, have gotten out of the habit of paying attention to. Or they think that the way they already know something is, is the best way to do it and they don't want to try following my directions and using my um, team standards. And um, I'm not saying that my way to do any particular thing is the best possible way, but it is a professional skill to follow the standards of the team for which you work. And so when you're doing coding my way um, in my class, I want you to follow my team standards and processes. And, um, and you never have to do it again after you leave the course, but it is always worthwhile to, to try a different method, to learn a new way to do something you might already have, have known how to do. So again, whether you're a total novice or whether you are, you are reviewing material that you've had in the past, um, make sure that you attend to and are persistent with the course. It'll, it will pay off week after week. So um, welcome, and I hope you enjoy your learning this, this semester.